Hey guys, just want to do a real quick video. So this is a tiger lotus plant. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I've seen them in other people's videos. It's a pretty cool plant. Um, it can actually be grown kind of as a bush as this one is, kind of short. Um, and how you would do that is, this is a type of lily. So it'll actually shoot leaves all the way up to the surface and have floating leaves like a lily would. Um, but if you want to keep it small and bushy, then when those leaves start to shoot up, you just trim them off. And where that where it was growing that long one, it'll grow one or two short ones. Um, now, if you leave it small like that, it will not flower. Um, but if you let it grow up and have lilies and the conditions are right, eventually it'll produce a little flower on top. Um, now the flower is nocturnal, so it opens at night, but um, early in the morning or if you shut your light off for a couple hours, then um, at nighttime you can see it open up and actually see the flower. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Now the tiger lotus, there's two ways to propagate this plant or make multiples of it. Um, the first way is to just let it grow. Um, now I'm not 100% sure if you leave it short and bushy, I'm pretty sure it'll still spread. It'll, this is a, this plant is a bulb plant. You can see the bulb right there that's attached to it. Eventually it will start spreading and grow a new bulb and grow a new plant and you can take that plant and plant it. Um, now I know this happens faster if you let it have floating leaves. Um, but I'm pretty sure it will do it if you leave it short too. Now there's a second way to do this and um, this is my first time with this plant but I've, you know, I've seen a lot and heard a lot about it and talked to a lot of people about it. So the, the bulb on it, you can actually pinch that bulb off and then plant it somewhere else and that bulb will grow a new plant and this plant will grow a new bulb. Um, and then you could just keep doing it that way. Now, <clears throat> I would recommend, what I've done with this one is I bought it about a week and a half ago. Um, so I let it, I put it in my substrate and I just let it um, grow to see if there's any, gonna be any kind of die off or anything like that. Um, Cause it's weird, for some reason plants know when they get moved and transported just like fish do. And they get stressed and they'll die back and then they'll grow. Um, I didn't want to clip the bulb off if this was going to die back because I didn't want to put more strain on the plant than needed. Um, but it's been in there about two weeks and it's actually grown uh, t two new leaves on it. So they're real little ones. Uh, well, there's one. You can see a couple little ones. Those little ones in there. Um, so it's grown those. And then we got this bigger one growing. Uh, it only had the four major leaves you see, the one, two, three, and this fourth one down here when I bought it. So it's definitely growing, it's doing fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip this bulb off now and replant it and give you all an update on how that goes for me. So I don't really wanna take it out of the water. I have a little pair of cutters here now I feel like, like I said, I've never done this before, but I feel like I shouldn't cut it right at the bulb. This isn't gonna be an easy thing. I might just use my fingers. Those little snippers might be too big to get in there. So, I'm just going to use my fingernails and just try to snap that off of there. Okay. Now, you can see I've tried to leave some on there. I don't know if those are roots. Those kind of look like roots. Um, no, that looks like a leaf right there. Let's see if it'll focus on it. It kind of looks like it was sprouting a leaf out there. So I'm going to take this and then I'm going to plant it. <clears throat> and then, 
excuse me, I will let y'all know how it goes. There's not much room in this tank, but I'll probably keep it in this tank um, for now. So I'm just gonna take that and push it in the ground like that. I wanna leave the, uh, let me see if it'll focus on that. So right here is the, is the little stubby part that was connected to the main plant. I'm gonna leave that out of the substrate and right there is what looks like that little leaf and I'm gonna leave that out of the substrate. And then I'm just gonna go back over here to my main plant and push it right back down. I'll try to get these roots. Those roots grew a lot in just a little bit of time I've had this plant. Um, now this plant, like I said, I don't have much experience with it, but it does, it's a high nutrient intake plant. So either you need a dirt substrate, which I do not have in this tank, Kind of buried some of the leaves. Which well, shouldn't hurt it, but. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on getting this in there. All right, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, this plant needs a lot of nutrients. It's a high nutrient plant because it's a fast grower. So, you either need a, sorry, I'm seeing all these things in here. I'll talk and then I'll mess with that later. How about that? So, you either well, that one, sorry, that video got cut off, so I'll just piece it together. <clears throat> but this plant either needs a dirt substrate or a clay bottom underneath your gravel or something, which I don't have either of those in this tank, but I do have root tabs that I've put in this tank so it can get its nutrients from that. Um, but it's a really fast grower. It's really easy to keep plant I actually got this one at aqua birds and pets in Colleen um, they're off of Clear Creek if you haven't been there check them out there you can google search them and get their address it's a small little fish store they say they have other pets but it's mainly a fish store um, but they can get you if they don't have what you're looking for more than likely they can get it that's where I got my figure eight puffer fish from which nobody sells around here. Um, they can order a lot of stuff for you if they don't have it in stock. Um, I've recently got a my two leaf fish from them, which are pretty cool. And if they don't have something in stock and they have to order you a fish, they can typically, in my experience, get it within a week. Um, they get deliveries every Thursday, so that's usually when, if I ordered something, it would come in. The people that work there, there's a lady that owns it. She's really nice, really knowledgeable. She'll tell you, teach you anything you have a question about. She has a lot of experience. So check them out. I got this there. It was under five bucks. It was like $4 and some change. So, and I've never seen them anywhere else. Um, so it's a pretty cool store. Check them out. Check out the Tiger Lotus. Real cool plant. Love the colors on it. It's like a red with the spots on it. Really cool plant. And I'll keep y'all updated on if this bulb continues to grow in there. And let y'all know how it goes. So hopefully in a week or so there should be another video. As soon as I see that starting to sprout up and grow some, I'll let y'all know. So I hope y'all enjoyed this one and I'll see y'all on the next one.